everybody. Welcome to Storytime. Miss Caitlin here. So this week in the children's department, we are celebrating STEAM Day. So for those of you who don't know what STEAM is, it is a type of learning that focuses on science, technology, engineering, art, and math. And it's a really cool way to look at things and use your brain to make things and create things. And so today I thought we would read some books that have to do with science, have a little bit of science theme to them. So let's see what I have in store for you. So our first story is Have Fun, Molly Lou Mellon, written by Patty Lavelle. Molly Lou Mellon's toy chest overflowed with whoozy whatsits of all shapes and sizes. Her grandma had told her, Back in the olden days, I didn't have fancy dolls or action figures. I made them out of twigs, leaves, and flowers like hollyhocks and daisies. So she did just that. Molly Lou Mellon's backyard had a big weeping willow and crumbly rock walls with thingamajigs peeking out of every crevice. Her grandma had told her, back in the olden days, I didn't have a store-bought dollhouse. I made one in my backyard. So she did just that. Molly Lou Mellon's garage was full of colorful boxes and crates. Her grandma had told her, back in my day, I didn't have a race car. I sat in a cardboard box and sped down the hill. So she did just that. Molly Lou Mellon lay on her back in the tall willowy grass. Her grandma had told her, back in the olden days, I didn't have a television. I watched the clouds that floated by and I saw lots of things in them. So she did just that. One day, new neighbors moved in next door. When Molly Lou Mellon went to welcome the little girl, she heard Gertie say to her mom, I'm bored, bored, bored. Molly Lou Mellon invited Gertie over to play. On Monday, Gertie brought over her darling Darla deluxe dollhouse, complete with an electric mixer and working chandeliers. Molly Lou Mellon showed Gertie her tree root palace, complete with acorn cap dinner plates, woven leaf air conditioning system, and cicada jacuzzi. Gertie was amazed. On Tuesday, Gertie drove over in her battery operated, fully loaded Coupe de Ville. Look out below, Molly Lou Mellon screamed right before hurtling down the hill in her turbo boxcar hand-painted with orange and red flames. Gertie was amazed. On Wednesday, Gertie was going to call Molly Lou Mellon on her cell phone, but then she heard a strange sound coming from an old tin can that was dangling out the window. This is the operator. Will you accept a call from Molly Lou Mellon? Yes, Gertie spoke into the can. Great, come on over, click. Gertie was amazed. On Thursday, Gertie asked Molly if she'd like to come over and watch cartoons on her big screen TV. It's 120 inches wide. Molly Lou Mellon said, not today, thanks. I'm going to watch the clouds. They're sky wide. Gertie was amazed. On Friday, Gertie brought over a homemade doll with a frilly hollyhock skirt and violets for hair. It's for your palace, she said, and Molly Lou Mellon was amazed. On Friday evening, Molly Lou Mellon and Gertie were tired, tired, tired from playing all week. They lay down in the tall willowy grass, looking up at the clouds. I see a butterfly, Gertie giggled and a penguin in a refrigerator. Molly Lou Mellon opened her eyes wide and grinned the biggest grin. I see grandma-shaped cloud winking at me. 
and Molly Lou Mellon winked right back. I love that one. That was a good one. And it was really cool to see how she used all kinds of things just around the, her house to make all kinds of, you know, fun toys and things. She didn't have to go buy them. And that's part of uh, esteem is making things on your own and doing it. So I hope you liked that one. And I have one more for you. The next one, I'm going to need some help. For my next book, we have If the Dinosaurs Came Back by Bernard Most. So for this story, I am going to use some flannel board pieces. Some of you have come to our story times before and seen us use the flannel board, where we have little pieces just like this to help tell the story. And usually we give you guys the pieces to help us tell the story. But because we're doing this virtually, we're gonna have to make it so that you guys can still help us at your own house. So. I'm going to have these pieces and I'm going to have you help me pick out which ones go with me through the story. Let's see if you can help. I like dinosaurs. I think about them all the time. I read about them. I talk about them. Oh, how I wish the dinosaurs could come back. If the dinosaurs came back, they could carry people to work and back. dinosaurs came back, we wouldn't need any more lawnmowers. If the dinosaurs came back, house painters wouldn't need any more ladders. If the dinosaurs came back, they would scare away robbers. If the dinosaurs came back, they would make it easy for farmers to plow their fields. If the dinosaurs came back, they could help lumberjacks chop down trees. came back, they would make great ski slopes. If the dinosaurs came back, they could take swimmers on rides at the beach. If the dinosaurs came back, they could rescue kites stuck in very tall trees. came back, mountain climbers wouldn't have a new mountain to climb. If the dinosaurs came back, they could be a big help at the circus. If the dinosaurs came back, they could help librarians get books from the top shelf. came back, dentist would have plenty of teeth to work on. If the dinosaurs came back, giraffes would have someone to look up to. If the dinosaurs came back, they could push away rain clouds so the sun would always shine. came back, they would make great pets for people who love dinosaurs. The end.